Good afternoon, everyone. How are y'all today? Um, I am Rachel with Rachel's Unique Crafts. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk louder. Um, today, we're going to take something that we made on another video and finish the product project. And I'm gonna show you how I'm using that product. Um, we had took a wire uh, basket, a wire flower basket, and turned it into a lampshade. Kind of the shabby chic, the Victorian the, um, style. So today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use that. Okay, I'm gonna turn you down. This won't take very long at all. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Um, this is our beautiful lampshade we made. And I'll show you the products we used to make that in case you haven't seen the other video. Um, I'm going to be using some Waverly chalk paint. This is an old lamp. Um, actually, I think my son sent it to me uh, to do something with because he did not want it. So, what I'm going to do is No dust. All right. And I debated on whether to um, paint this white or cream. Um, so I made the executive decision to just go with the cream. In fact, I think it's um, cashew. Let's we'll see. Uh, it's cashew. So, um, make sure I'm in the picture there. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. I chose a stiff bristle brush. And the reason for that is I don't want a whole lot of coverage on this. I want it to look old and worn out and been through the ringer and all that good stuff. So with our um, lampshade, we had used um, a wire basket that you would hang outside. You know, you put the cocoa liners in them and, and then you put your flowers, whether it be artificial flowers or real flowers or what have you. So had taken that and then cut me a sheet. I think I used about 26 inch long strips. Just cut a sheet up and the strips are about an inch wide. And um, I ripped them. I cut it the length and then I ripped went about an inch about an inch wide and then I would just rip the strips if that makes sense <laughs> um then put a bow on it and i used a, a gem from totally dazzled let me tell you they have the most beautiful little gems and very economical so pretty you could just add a gem to um, some of your decor. If you like to bling something up, if you like to add just a little bit of glam to it. So, um, I added that to the bow on the lampshade. You see how this is, it's just looking like it's not completely covered. That's, um, that's what I wanted. That's the look I'm going for. So this is taking a few minutes and some people don't like to, to watch stuff like this. If you want to fast forward, that would be great. If you um, don't wanna watch all the painting going on. Um, but if you just wanna hang out, this is not gonna take too long. 
And if you want to watch fast forward, like um, at a higher speed, there's three little dots up on the right top of your screen. You can mash that and you can go two times um, and it will go a lot faster for you. That's just an option for, for those that don't like to just, you know, in a hurry, fast paced. But some of us like to hang out and, and go slow. Now this is not gonna matter, it's gonna all be hid. Um, so, but the link to um, Totally Dazzled is in the description. If you wanna go click on it and check them out and see what they've got, they've got little um, bling blings for um, napkin rings all kinds of pretty stuff. I've had fun um, designing with them. We made a night light out of a salt and pepper shaker and add, we Mod Podged a, a napkin onto it. And then we added um, some pretty lace and added the bling bling on it turned out really precious. So, I am really enjoying making stuff because I like kind of the shabby chic, the, you know, French country, I guess. But I also like a little bit of farmhouse. So, I, I'm just a good mixture of a little bit of everything. Now I'm going back over just a little bit of this, just so it don't look like I just, you know, like it's just one coat of paint. I'm just kind of giving um, some good spots and then letting it bleed through on other spots. And then I may go back and use a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of rough it up in a few places just to give it that little finished touch. And as it dries, you see better what places you want to add a little bit and what places you want to leave. So let me know in the comments below, are y'all country? Are you French country? Are you farmhouse style? Are you um, kind of shabby chic design? Or what kind of decor do y'all like in your house? I've got a, just to be honest, I've got a little bit of everything. I don't have the modern, I don't have the um, and industrial even, I don't. Son, I think it's gonna go more of the industrial style on his house. Y'all, we're almost got the biggest part of this done, so we're almost done. Load my brush heavier and so we can hurry up. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use this one or I have a floor lamp stand or if I was gonna use it. So I guess y'all see that uh, I think I've decided on the table lamp. And y'all, I have so many lamps. I am lamp poor throughout my home. Um, see, as it dries, Kind of see where you need to add a little bit to it because I don't want it to look like a hot mess. I want it to just look old. Um, but I do. I have lots of lamps in my home. I love lamps. But, you know, eventually you run out of places to put lamps. But, Still don't keep me from wanting. I gotta just find, you know, think to myself. If 
um, one more spot to put one, you know. In which this one I could even use on my covered porch if I wanted to. It's not going to be plugged in. It's, um, we used a battery operated LED light from Amazon that's got, um, a remote with it. And that's what I had fixed in the lampshade. Um, and I don't even have the, the pieces up here that go with this lamp, which I have one of those um, brackets. I had it just the other day. And, you know, I want to put this right where I can find it. Guess what? Got this out this morning. Can't find that bracket nowhere. Now, when I'm not looking for it, that's when it's going to show up. piece right here and I think we're about done. I may touch up a little bit here, there, and yonder, but, and listen, I'm no painter. I am no painter whatsoever. But I do enjoy a good craft. And if it involves a little bit of Painting like this, I can pretty much handle it. Okay, now I'll just briefly go over what we did with the lampshade the other day. It was like this, just a wire basket, hanging basket, that you know, you could put a, a cocoa liner in and put your flowers in it. So I automatically, when I seen it, I thought the lampshade, it just, to me, that's what it looked like. So, I took little strips of a sheet, I cut it 26 inches long, and then I went through in about every inch or so, I didn't measure it out, I just kind of cut about it for every inch or so, um, cut a little slit, and then I just took it and ripped it. So, then we come up with this. So then I take it in the middle, I come up under here, and so we have a loop. And I pull the two tails through the loop. Pull it snug, and then there you go. And that would give you your little um, ribbon tails hanging down. And so I went all the way around. So that's how we created the lampshade. And look at this beautiful uh, gem. Isn't that pretty? That is from Totally Dazzled. And they have the rose gold. They have the regular gold color and they have silver. So um, any color, you know, that you're wanting for your decor they have them. They're beautiful. Isn't that pretty? But it just kind of gives it like a, a shabby chic um, country, French country look. So, the light bulbs. Y'all, I've got projects started over here. Oh. One of my lights is on. I've, I've got, I ordered four lights and I had two, um, remotes in it so one of the light bulbs was on in there but this is what i bought from amazon they're just um ultra light it's battery operated light bulb it's got a little hook there you could hang them or it's got a base that's magnetic it's got a little sticky part here that you could you know just put on the wall and this remote and they're bright because they're LEDs. So what I had in mind was putting it down just like that. Now it's not gonna screw all the way down, but it does, it 
does sit there. It's got it goes so far. And then, unless you knock it off, look at there. Let's try this one more time. And I that Waverly chalk paint dries fast. Most of this lamp is almost dry. How pretty. And then you got your remote. So you could sit this on a um, on a covered porch, or if you have a screen porch, or your bedroom, or a sitting room, or um, anywhere. Now when my paint dries, I'm gonna go through with a little piece of sandpaper, and I'm probably gonna scuff up a little bit and make it look even more antique. Um, but, Y'all tell me what you think in the comments. What kind of decor do y'all use? Um, I just think this is beautiful. So if you're at a yard sale, you're at a um, mission store, your um, antique store, anywhere like that, um, and you see an old lamp, if it doesn't work, um, no big deal, get it. If it's cheap, you know, you can pick up sometimes lamp bases for just a couple of dollars and then you can order these kind of light bulbs and you have a lamp. You can do an outdoor lamp, anything like that. So y'all let me know in the comments um, what kind of home decor you like. So this was just a quick little tutorial. I know a lot of people don't like to um, sit and watch the painting, but um, I wanted to show y'all what I've actually done with the lampshade. So if you need some little gems to kind of put on your uh, decor, uh, click on the link, it's in the description. It's totally dazzled and check them out. See what they've got. So they got some really good prices. I used to buy mine on eBay, but they are so much higher. And I, cause I used to make big old um, brooches and I wish I had known about this uh, company before, back then. But, um, so y'all let me know what kind of decor you use. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. And if you make something, go over to Rachel's Unique Crafts on Facebook. Um, Rachel's Unique Crafts VIP. It's a group and you can share your pictures of the crafts that you make. Okay. Thank y'all. I love you all. And until next time, y'all have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.